Patchwork 2.6 brings new macro features, providing control over multiple parameters from multiple plugins with a single knob, with the ability to choose knob styles for the macro controls and hide the plugin's matrix it's like creating a brand new plugin out of many. Here's a little bit of before and after of a drum and percussion bus using a custom macro setup with third party plugins all hosted in Patchwork. Let's look at how to build this up from scratch. I'm starting off with a fresh instance of Patchworks here, and I'm gonna set this to be six columns wide. So did I get four slots in here plus my pre and post. And here I'm gonna set this to five rows. Now I'm gonna load the plugins into the slots in my first parallel chain one at a time, and I'm gonna speed this up. All right, I've set my first chain up with that nice Neve console sound with a bit of extra compression and some stereo widening with Ozone Imager, and I've set up a limiter at the end of my chain here. Let's set up the next parallel chain. All right, I've got the next parallel chain set up with SSL console style sound that's reinforced with some compression from the Purple Audio MC77 compressor and some tape saturation for a different flavor than the Neve sound. And the idea is that we can mix and match these together once we set up our macros. Let's set up the next chain. All right, this chain has some 7th Heaven reverb on it, followed by a compressor and then a little bit of gain staging at the end. So just adding a bit of space, and again, we'll control that with the macros after. Let's set up the fourth chain. This is a kind of parallel compression chain that'll be mixed in subtly. I'm driving it with some mag EQ and then two compressors, so it's a little deliberately overdriven. The idea is to dial in a little bit of it via the macros. And let's set up the last chain for some saturation. Here I've got the Newfangled Audio Saturate plugin working really hard for some nasty overdriven sound that again will dial in subtly. So it's really very hard along with the parallel compression. Now let's start setting up the macros. Now in the toolbar, I'm gonna to click this button over here and go show assigned controls. And of course there's none assigned now. And we need to map them and we can get to the parameter mapping editor from here. I'm just gonna close it for a moment and show you that we can also get to it with this little pencil button. So we can add them manually or use the learn function. Now, for example, let's say I'm gonna open up the console N and the first parameter I wanna map is the high frequency gain. I can just click the learn button and then touch this and I'll just close it up now, we'll see that it's set and we can set a minimum and maximum range. Maybe I don't want it to go all the way down off when I'm using the full throw of the macro I'm gonna create. And maybe I don't want it to go all the way up. And you can invert these to get a negative response if you want, but I can set it to something like that. Now we can also add parameters using this add button over here. And then we can manually choose which plugin and I'm gonna use my ozone imager in this one. And maybe I wanna have the parameter sign that we get to the, from this menu here being the stereoized or delay so I can increase the stereo imaging when I dial it up. And again, we can limit the range to whatever is meaningful for the parameter that you're using. And I think I am gonna leave this one all the way up. So we can continue to assign using the plus button or the learn button. I'll turn that off for the moment. And we can double click here to name these. So let me make the rest of the assignments for this first knob. So here with this first macro knob, I've also assigned it to control the low mid gain on the SSL plugin in the second strip. And then in the fourth strip, 
one of the parameters on the ozone impact plugin and on the fourth strip also on the compressor plugin the threshold control and most importantly the parallel gain at the end of the first strip so these knobs control parameters or will control parameters in multiple rows but also the gain at the end of each one let's set up the second knob here i've named it me and it's controlling the level on the mag eq on the fourth parallel strip and on the second chain it's controlling the ssl threshold for the compression that's built in and also on the ssl the high frequency again with limited ranges and again the gain at that end that i have let's set up the rest of these this knob is focusing on the reverb where i'm controlling the dry wet mix of the reverb plugin with a very limited range and then the compressor plugin following that the ratio and then the gain at the end of that strip this one is adjusting the compressor on the second channel two of the parameters here as well as the imaging on the first channel and the gain and then finally this last one is just controlling the level of the saturation its pure function is that so now we can assign whatever custom look we want with these control style knobs and then we can mix and match using these knobs to get a custom sound different flavors some of the reverb some of the parallel compression and saturation and these two are the real flavor knobs so this is really an all-purpose drum plug-in And when we like what we have, we can always save it from here. And now it's available for future use in this or any other DAW. And then use this button to hide the plugin slots and view and work with just your macros. Mm -hmm.